Me and Anthony and Paul and Mikey. Down here, down south, I've been down south for longer than I've been up north. I went to school for five years and then 12 years of head coaching. So 17 years I've been down south. And what's been cool to me is like everyone has sick, cool names down here. It's like Harrison, Jackson. It's always named after like a general of some sort, the Confederate Army or something crazy. You know, like everybody's got. And then, then it just started getting more crazy, like Bryson. And it just, I mean, everything was hard, you know? I just, I don't know what happened or what the cultural significance is, but I'm into it. I gotta admit, I'm into it. If I would have had a boy, it just would have been Mac. His name would have been Mac. That's All right. I don't know where I was going with that. Here we go. This is this the one that Travis won the national championship with. All right, this is the guy I told you about. He jacked that hook. Now, guys got so good at scouting his underhook, they knew they couldn't beat him with an overhook, so they would start to try to swim out or square up. Watch what happens when he squares up. This is the leg we're going to attack. As soon as he felt a guy put weight on that far leg, he was already attacking. So he's actually using the force on the actual hook itself, so you start to square up to set up my next part of the series, which is my knee pick. I don't even really consider it a knee pick as much as I, I call it like lassoing his legs. Because when you hit this right, the guy's knees come together and he collapses and the whole crowd yells, Too! You know what I'm talking about at Nationals? It's always by the out of bounds. There's something about this move, it always gets hit right on the line. Everybody just yells, Too! Is that just me or that? <laughs> so you jab, you hook. Now watch, he starts to square up. I'm going to take, use that again, so I'm going to step foot to foot. Now watch what happens. It's the same punch motion. This is why I said we have to get the first one down before anything else happens. I'm going to throw the same punch, only this time as I punch, I'm going to drop. One, two. Everybody yell. Right there. One, two. Watch my right arm. This is the key. This is the one thing everybody loses on this. As I jack it, he squares up. I throw the same punch. I pick the knee. Watch my right arm, guys, as I punch. Punch, drop. The right arm drops. If I don't drop, it's overhooking. Swizzle your hair. Exactly. That used to happen to me a lot my first year in college. I thought I was a tough guy. I'd get a sweet underhook and I'd pick and I'd leave it here and we'd end up just like this and I'd get nothing out of it. So what I learned through Travis is when you hit this, the drop part of it's just important. It's one, watch my footwork. One, two. You guys see how tight I get to his thighs? Grab my head right through there. Now, if you really want to put some extra special stank sauce on this, you're going to go deep that right leg. I know you guys all dance. Right? So just if you hit this, you start going like that and you start doing that in school. I'm just throwing it out there, something to drill while you're walking down the hallway. Okay? I, I, I hit it? No way last. Okay. I, want to start, I do this stuff. When I'm walking to the mailroom, I just start dropping like this. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick, watch my right leg. One, two. Right here. You see how my right leg gets that extra stank on the back end? Bam! And he can't step out of it, is what I'm saying. So I go jab, hook. One, two, two. We'll try it. One, two, three. 